Hey guys, it's Sandy. So I'm gonna show you how to make strawberry jam with only four ingredients and they're all really good for you. It's gonna take you about 20 minutes to put this whole thing together. Strawberries obviously is the main ingredient. You're gonna put chia seeds, maple syrup, and lemon juice in it. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's delicious and it's healthy. <laughs> it's good for you. So let me show you how to take your strawberries and make some strawberry jam. So I am using frozen strawberries that I got out of the freezer section. I did pick organic because strawberries you buy in the store usually have a lot of pesticides on them. Now you can wash them really good and use those or you can use fresh that you went to the field and picked. You're going to need three cups of strawberries. I let mine sit out just a little bit just so I could cut them up. You don't have to do that. Do not add any water. You're just going to let them start cooking. They're going to make their own juices and then we're going to smash them up. Now, once that starts to bubble, I put this on medium heat, it's what I had it on. Once it starts to bubble, then I just take a potato masher and just start pushing down and squishing down the chunks. And then you can make this as thick and chunky as you like your jam or um, real smooth. It's just however you like it. So let me push all this down. I'll add then the chia seeds and the lemon juice. Now you're going to add four tablespoons of chia seeds after this has started boiling. Chia seeds are going to be the thickener in this. And listen, chia seeds are a superfood. They're high in fiber and calcium and antioxidants. They are so good for you. They're also known to lower blood pressure and improve blood sugar. So that's why we want to use these uh, superfood chia seeds in our jam. And now we're going to add some maple syrup to this. You can use honey or a different sweetener if you want. I'm going to use maple syrup. You can use one to three tablespoons. I started with one and then I was just going to taste it, but I did end up putting three tablespoons in. So you could just do that from the beginning. The next thing you want is one tablespoon of lemon juice. So either squeeze a lemon or buy um, the real lemon juice, not the concentrate, and put one tablespoon in there. And then you're just going to start mixing it up. And it's going to boil and just keep stirring it around and around. It's going to thicken as it sits, but it, um, you just need to keep on stirring it around a little bit. This is where I did add two more tablespoons of maple syrup. So three tablespoons in total of maple syrup is what I put in here. That should be about perfect, but if you need it a little bit sweeter, go ahead and add whatever you want after you taste it. And then just let it simmer a little bit longer. I'm going to take it off and let it thicken. So you can see this just has natural sweeteners and good ingredients in here. It tastes really good. The chia seeds get really soft as they thicken this up. It gets really soft and it just looks like strawberry seeds in here. So you can eat this or feed your family and feel good about it and it's super easy to make. So after I um, let it kind of simmer a little bit longer, I just took it off the heat and let it thicken. And then I'm just putting it into a mason jar to store into the refrigerator. Just make sure the jam is completely cool before you do put it in the refrigerator. And here we go. There is strawberry chia seed jam. It just looks like the seeds from the strawberries, but it just has all of the protein and the antioxidants, and it's not full of sugar and preservatives also. Great on toast, peanut butter and jelly. I like it on top of pancakes with peanut butter and then the jelly on top. So anyway, there's a great recipe for strawberry jam without all of the extra stuff.